to 5,000 kilometres by car, train, plane, rocket and even reindeer, the Olympic torch is close to the end of its record-breaking relay. On its way to Sochi, where it's due in a couple of days, the torch travelled to some challenging spots, including Europe's highest peak, Mount Elbrus, at his Paul Scott has well. On its journey across the world's largest country, the Olympic torch was always going to experience some highs and some lows, and it has now completed one of those highs. The Olympic flame has been lit at the top of Mount Elbrus, which is the highest peak in Europe. A team of five experienced mountaineers took it to the summit, which is more than 5,500 metres above sea level. It is now in the final stages of its relay. It will arrive here in Sochi in a few days' time, ahead of the opening ceremony, which is now now less than a week away and attention is slowly beginning to turn to the sport and one sport that Russia has traditionally had success in is biathlon and my colleague Tabang Motsai has uh, had a look round the new purpose-built state-of-the-art cross-country skiing and biathlon centre. Legend is, is that Laura was an urban legend heroine. Now, she decided to choose death over getting married to an older prince. Of course, it's not just about death. This might serve as a reminder that to win gold, you might have to die for it. Figuratively, of course. This could be a metaphor. For the athletes, that determination, passion and perseverance to whatever you want, particularly that gold, you can get it. For Sochi 2014, the cross-country skiing and biathlon tournaments will take place from Laura. Organizers are hoping the Laura venue state-of-the-art facilities will put Sochi firmly on the world biathlon map. I took a tour of the grounds on a snowy jeep to see the massive complex without getting my feet wet. It includes two stadiums, a shooting area and a warm-up zone. So it's true what they say, that sports brings everybody together. And the Olympics are not just for us, but for everybody. Even this little guy here. The course is very demanding. It has few places where athletes can glide and save their energy. And at a height of 1,500 meters above sea level, the lack of oxygen also makes it much harder for the competitors to breathe. Come a few days to this venue where the biathlons are Olympic and Paralympic Games will be held, will be filled with spectators as well as sportsmen and sportswomen. Right here is where the starting point aiming for that gold will begin. Mother Nature has helped us out, the snow is ready, the altitude is perfect. Now all that's missing is the start of the whistle.